The following video will go over how to create a bill in control. Alright, let's go to control. Before we actually create a bill, uh, let's first check to make sure that the option to enable bills is activated. To do so, we want to click on setup and then click on system setup. And then we want to click on purchase orders, bills, and receiving documents. And it looks like the bills is enabled. Okay, so let's go ahead and close system setup and let's continue on with creating our new bill. We're going to click on new and then new bill. And we're going to start off by uh, linking our vendor to this particular bill. So I'm going to click on my search button here. It's going to open up my independent form. On the left hand side, I can filter out to get my uh, vendor. In this case, I only have two vendors in the system, so I'm going to go ahead and double click my sign supplies. I can enter in a description for this particular bill. And then on the items tab, I can add in all of the items that will uh, be linked to this bill. Uh, so let's click on my item type. And I have a bunch of different, uh, different categories I can cho choose from. I can select new part, which will create, will first let you create a new part in the system. And then add that newly created part to this particular bill. I can pull a catalog item, which means that um, this will be the part that you purchase directly from this particular vendor. Um, and then when I go to the item name, it's going to show me all those parts that are related to that one vendor. And then, of course, it's going to this description, uh, expense account, and quantity uh, would all be tied to the vendor account. So now I can put in a unit cost or I can have it already created on the vendor account and it would automatically pull the uh, the unit cost and the total cost for this particular uh, item. Um, or maybe this particular vendor, maybe you're purchasing a new part from this vendor. Um, you can go to the uh, part category here and then go to the item name and then select a part that's already created in the system uh, say how many you're looking to purchase um, as well as I can add in a another expense account um, I can add in notes that can show up on the on the bill as well um, or any kind of other material labor equipment once I have my items uh, attached to my bill I want to look towards the bottom here to make sure this information is correct uh, it's going to tell me who's the bill payable to um, the shipping address of this particular vendor my payment term information and uh, I would then have to select or I can enter in uh, the shipping method uh, for this particular vendor now all of these fields can be defaulted from the vendor account and then as well as I can enter in a memo or the reference number from the vendor Control is going to give me my bill total. I can always come over here and overwrite it or enter in discounts and tax information for it. And this is all information that you would obviously get from your vendor. Uh, you can change what the actual invoice date is. And uh, let's move over to the vendors tab. Um, by selecting the vendor, it's going to show us the payable information and ship to information. 
um, as well as the uh, the contact uh, for that particular vendor. And of course, we can go to the totals tab. Uh, once we save this particular bill, uh, we can actually come back to it when we're ready to pay it. And then there will be a button for the deposits and payments, and we can post a payment to this particular bill. Uh, but in this case, um, let's say all this information is correct. The next thing we want to do is actually save the bill. This will conclude the video.